Vessels and equipment needed to lay and bury HVDC cable already exist and are used around the world. In this video, we will watch the process and see how the equipment works. The HVDC cable is slowly fed underwater from a ship, which receives a steady flow of information from below the surface of the water. A small camera robot sends a video stream back to the ship to provide details on the seabed. Notice how the ship is able to retain its course even in significant currents. If a major obstacle is encountered, the cable guidance system navigates the best cable path using sonar and cameras. A state-of-the-art navigation system employs GPS, sonar, and video to ensure the cable follows the ideal route from the power source to the grid where it's needed. It also gives a detailed record of exactly where the cable has been laid. Once the cable is on the seabed, the cable bearing system is deployed. Using an innovative and low-impact system of water jets, it follows the cable path, digging a temporary trench of only a few inches wider than the six-inch diameter cable and approximately three feet deep to protect the cable against external mechanical damage. When an obstacle is sensed, the cable laying is paused until the object is cleared by the water jets. Once the destination is reached, a protective concrete barrier is placed over the cable at the point where it begins to ascend from the water. This actual video footage of underwater cable bearing illustrates how the system works and shows how little impact it has on the seabed. Notice how narrow the trench is and how just inches away from the trench, the seabed sediment remains undisturbed. Within a few days, it would appear as though nothing ever happened. 